What's up everyone and welcome to this course. My name is Claudio. This is a dedicated channel to everything ArcVis. Today's tutorial is about a plugin called Curlips and how it can replace the spline inside 3ds Max. It's from a company called K Studio. I will leave a link in the description below for you to have a look at. So we're going to dive into this plugin to see how awesome it is and how it really can replace the spline and it's going to give you a whole lot of functionality. So let's dive straight in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the creation splines K Studio. I'm going to grab the Curlips tool and I'm just going to drag a very simple object right over there. Now, all of these options from rendering, interpolation, creation method, and keyboard entry, these are all identical when you're creating a standard spline inside 3D Max. So we're not going to cover any of those. Those are very straightforward. We're going to concentrate on what Curlips can offer you underneath parameters. So we've got the length, which is very straightforward. We got the width and we got the height. So as you can see, that obviously changes the parameters, length, width, and height. And if you play around with these guys right over here, you can actually get just about any shape that you want. So you can see all of these, these are all created using a Curlips. So very awesome. So selecting that, let's scroll down. Turns will obviously tell you how many turns you want inside this object. We've got the expansion, which basically expands from the center outwards or inwards. Next is points. So this isn't gonna help much because we're under Bezier. Selecting corner mode, you can now see the points that we have. And this is where you can choose the shapes that you actually do want to use. So remember, if you're underneath Bezier, it's going to be Bezier handles, meaning the curves here. So let's have a look what next we can do. This option here is called outline. If I select outline, you have to now change the thickness. So let's just scroll this up, but you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm creating an outline of the actual object. Next to that is the close function. So if we have a look right over there and right over there, we're actually going to close the spline off, which is awesome. One, two, three, click, and it's closed it off. So now you're thinking, well, it's exactly the same as a helix. Let's actually go underneath splines. Let's go and create a helix. Let's try to replicate exactly what we've done over here. Something like that's fine. So now we've created the helix. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the exact same procedure. The problem is, is that Helix does not offer the actual ability to create an outline. You have to either add an edit spline, modify to it, or convert this to an editable spline. Then you're going to go underneath the spline mode, select it, outline tool. So very basic tools to use, but we can get the same result. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the Helix Extrude modifier. I'm going to create the Curlips Extrude modifier. So now what we've done is we've done the exact same procedure. Here's the biggest difference now. If I wanted to edit this Helix, I actually cannot do that because we've converted it to an edible spline. So if I go underneath vertex mode and I try and move any of these, it's just going to be a completely broken model. I cannot change this curve. So we've committed to the shape and that's all we can do about it. The advantage now is Curlips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an edit spline modifier on top of the Curlips and I'm going to manipulate. And as you can see, it keeps the shape for us. Huge advantage when it comes to creating any spline models. So check out Case Studio. Again, the link is in the description. You'll see they have a lot of cool plugins that'll definitely help you in your 3D renders and your workflow. I'll be covering as many as I can here at this course to give you guys a good breakdown of what they can do for you. 